Hey, my name is Glenn. I'm the odds coach. Today we're going to cover off what's a puck line in sports betting. So puck line is just another form of spread betting designed specifically for hockey. It differs from spread betting in say NBA or NFL in that it's generally a fixed number of goals applied to the final score uh, to give you a little different look at the odds. Now I'm going to work through two examples here that should illustrate how puck line works in real life situations. So we have the Rangers versus the Flyers. Uh, the Rangers in this particular match are favored. I've included for reference here the money line odds, indicating that uh, because they're minus money, the Rangers are the favored team here. That means that the minus one and a half goals is going to be applied to the Rangers score. And it also means that plus one and a half is going to be applied to the Flyers score. Now, with puck line, there's always odds associated with that. So we can see here that subtracting one and a half goals from the Rangers changes their odds from a minus 122 money line to a plus 240, uh, indicating that uh, this outcome is less likely to happen. And then conversely, we can see that uh, adding one and a half goals to the Flyers final outcome changes the odds to minus 280. So what that means here is a hundred dollar bet on the Rangers puck line is going to return two hundred and forty dollars whereas a hundred dollar bet on the Flyers puck line is only going to return about thirty five seventy one now let's work through a couple examples here to see it in practice uh, let's take a final score of three to two for the Rangers now had you bet a uh, puck line on the Rangers you're going to have to subtract those one and a half goals from the final score and evaluate whether you've won. So if you subtract one and a half from their three goal game, you're going to once again be left with one and a half to two. So in that case, the puck line bet on the Rangers is going to lose. Just to show you the other side, if you had placed a puck line bet on the Flyers, you have to add one and a half goals here to the Flyers outcome, which is going to give you three and a half, and that means that your bet uh, on the Flyers is going to win. Now, let's see if the score was different here. Imagine that it was uh, four to two for the Rangers. Well, a puck line bet in that case, you're going to have to subtract one and a half goals from that, uh, which is going to give you 2.5. Uh, when you evaluate that out, your puck line bet on the Rangers is going to win. Uh, the other side of that is adding one and a half goals to the Flyers' final score is only going to give you three and a half. The Flyers are going to lose by a half point. You're going to lose your puck line bet. Now, if you'd like to see more examples, puck line is extremely similar to run line in baseball. So I invite you to go uh, watch my video there. Also watch the spread betting videos that I'll run through a couple of mathematical examples that pretty much the same, but should uh, illustrate to you what puck line, run line, and spread are in sports betting. If you took anything away from this video, please remember to hit like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Also remember that each video uh, has an associated article on oddscoach.com where we go into a little more depth and there's downloadable files. Also on oddscoach you'll find calculators, more in-depth betting articles, and sportsbook reviews. Thanks again for watching.